Okay, so it's going to be Vladimir Putin and Joe Biden. Let's see what the cards can tell us. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So pretty interesting. I mean, Putin actually called Biden. That is a sign of weakness okay um he came asking and uh, and that shows us that uh, somehow we've got the upper hand in this thing and i trust uh, the steady hand that joe has on the tiller so uh, we'll see what the cards have to say of course it could be the other way around you know if you want to be in charge of the situation you want to make the attack okay you want to be the one that's putting the other person uh, on their foot but the thing is that russia is not attacking the united states it's trying to attack ukraine take over that extra uh, uh that land over there and uh, it's got they've got all their oil running through the ukraine to europe so their card to play could be that we'll hike up the prices we'll limit the oil fuel oil going through at this time of the year when everybody needs it uh but before they did any of that they came to the united states and said what what did they say let's see what the cards have to say but first let's look at the cards Okay, so this is the Housewives Tarot, a domestic divination kit with deck and instruction book by Paul Keppel and Jude Buffum. And this is put out by Quirk uh, uh, Press, I guess it's called. So this is so neat. It's reminiscent of a recipe box. And it's, it's really sturdy, solid, thick cardboard. And it's got so many cool illustrations on the outside. It was only about $16. And... Um, and then it's even got here, uh, guaranteed by the housewife occultists of America. Just really neat. Okay. So if we go inside, the first thing you're going to notice is that it's set up just like a recipe box. The first little card here, you'll see it says uh, the housewife tarot. And then on the back of this, it just tells you about the publisher and the copyrights and that sort of thing. But the second card is labeled as the major arcana. Okay. And then the back of it is an actual real recipe i mean i've read the recipe you can make this this one's called the icebox um fortune cake and i won't read the recipe but i just tell you this cool uh, little thing it says is for use with the neapolitan spread the spread is referring to i think four or six uh, ways to divine the card to spread the cards out so this is for use with the neapolitan spread and it says here eat this cake quickly before your past present and future start melting together really you know just cute uh, the first section here had the major arcana in here separately. Of course, I've mixed up the cards and, and shuffled them, so it's not that anymore, but I put that little group there so you can see what it looked like. The second um, card here is the uh, minor arcana uh, card, recipe card. Again, another recipe that you could actually prepare. This is like deviled eggs, but they've called it here divinated eggs instead of deviled eggs. And it says for use with the dinette spread. So like a dinette table. And it says you'll never go back to deviled eggs once you've had them divinated. Really cool and a decent recipe. The third um, card, which I've got out of, uh, and then the, of course the uh, pip cards, the minor, minor arcana with it. The third card, which was actually uh, here, uh, it talks about the instruction booklet. And I'll pull it out and it says, yep, instruction booklet. And then on the back, another recipe. And this is his Madame Marlena's Mystical Martini. It's for use with the martini spread, which is another spread they recommend. And also it's an, an, an actual, actual recipe you could prepare. The booklet itself is amazing. It's a really good quality of booklet, okay? It's got full color and really great, uh, interesting divinations for the cards. But the first part is what's so cool. The first page here tells you one, two, three, four, five different spreads that you could uh, lay the cards out in, they suggest, they've developed. 
And then this, I'll just tell you this first little paragraph and then a last sentence, because this is, just gives you an idea of how uh, quirky and how interesting this thing is written. It says right here, regarding the mystical housewife's tarot, the legend, uh, according to gossip, the housewife's tarot was introduced by housewife extraordinaire Marlene Louise Weatherby in the early 1950s. She was a happy homemaker who seemed to have it all, a devoted husband, obedient children, a sparkling home that was the talk of the town, a fashion sense to die for, and for more than her fair share of, and more, far more than her fair share of women's intuition. Very cool. And then just the last sentence is so neat. It says here, just how exactly did Marlene acquire these mis this mystical knowledge? Whether Whenever pressed, she kept her lips sealed tighter than Tupperware. Marlene took her secret to the grave, bless her heart, and the origin of the housewife's tarot shall remain shrouded in mystery forevermore. Just really, really very thoughtful. Everything about this. So if you can't tell, I'm loving the deck. So that's the box. The cards, uh, actually, they're a decent weight of cards, okay? They're not too slick. And uh, this kind of looks like a tablecloth, doesn't it? And then, uh, let me lay them out for you. The, the are different, um, the Major Arcana and then the Minor uh, Pip cards have their own kind of color-coded uh, sequencing here. Major Arcanas are circled in black. The uh, cups are in blue and uh, green for the pentacles, etc. and so forth. And they're very colorful. They're easy to divine. The only thing I would say is that this Empress, for instance, is the number two of the Major Arcana. And in typical Rider Waite system, number two is the High Priestess. And if I'm not mistaken, the High Priestess in this was actually labeled as a number three, which would be the Empress. So that doesn't quite uh, me meld with the uh, Rider Waite system, but they're easy enough to divine because I tell you right here what this card is supposed to be. You know, I lay the cards out like this so that you get a chance to see more than just the few that come out when we do a reading. And um, to also give you an example of, you know, if you're doing a reading for someone, they can do this too and uh, lay the cards out and you kind of get their energy in you know, them if you don't particularly want them to shuffle them, which I don't particularly like people to shuffle my cards because I kind of shuffle them uh, not in a... Um, you know, not in a, a rough manner. So here we have it, the Housewives Tarot. Really great. But before we get started, why don't we just take a moment, just a couple of seconds for contemplation. Okay. Okay, so I thought what I'd do first is we do a, a quick little draw on Putin, a quick little draw on Biden, and then we do a more detailed uh, draw on the situation. Okay, so Putin, Vladimir Putin, Vladimir Putin, what can the cards tell us about him? Or what is the question that we want to ask? Let's see, is, is, is Putin going to try to take more of the Ukraine? Is he going to try to take more of the Ukraine. Okay. Let's see what three cards can tell us about that, but I don't like the way that came out. So we'll try one more time. Three cards. What is he going to try to take more from the Ukraine? We're talking about land. Okay. First card out of the pack, magician. Okay. So somehow he expects to manipulate the situation uh, in, a, in an unbelievable way. The magician has all the tools available to, to him uh, to get the job done. He's the first person that the fool meets on his journey of uh, 21 cards. So this is where the, uh, the fool picks up some, some tips on how to go about his journey. So Putin as the magician. The next card for whether he'll try to get some a look at that, we just talked about the fool, and this is the fool's journey. So this is you know starting off on a new journey, and this person here is just taking what are the essentials, okay? They've kind of left a lot of valuable stuff behind. And I wonder if this doesn't mean to us that, um, that that's how this will go, that he'll start off on his journey but without taking too much. Uh, the uh, final card in this, whether Putin will try to um, take some of the Ukraine, is the Seven of Wands is really being embattled, a really difficult way. Wands are actions, uh, movement, forward of motion, but even though the Seven of Wands is typically uh, typ uh, sig significant of, signifying of being embattled, the job can get done. It's just a difficult job, okay? So just to say again, Putin, uh, will he take more of the Ukraine? He's got the tools that it takes. He's off on this journey, leaving a lot of value behind, and he can get this done if he really wants to. So I'm going to say he may try. 
Now, let's talk about Biden, Joe Biden. So the question is, is Biden able to deter Putin from this power grab? Will Biden be able to deter Putin on this power grab? I mean, if he does, it'll be with the help of our allies. But um, Biden, it seems, I mean, he's the person that uh, Putin called. So it seems like he's the one who has to get the ball rolling. Three cards. Biden, are you going to be able to hold Putin back? Okay. The first card out of the draw is the Emperor. Okay, perfect card. This tells the Emperor is is the major arcana. He's the third uh, person in this deck on the Fool's Journey, and um, he's the guy who's got everything that it takes. What he says is going to go, and I love that. Okay, uh, so Biden contacting uh, or Putin contacting Biden shows who uh, the who's in charge of this. Putin may be the magician, but Biden is the emperor. The next card out of the pack here is Judgment. Okay, so this is number 20 of the Major Arcana. We're just about finished of the journey there. And so the emperor and Judgment are on Biden's side. The last card is the Two of Pentacles. Okay, finding a balance, getting the worth just right. So yeah, it looks like Biden is going to be able to uh, work this out to um, to the advantage uh, to, not so much to the advantage of uh, Russia, but to the advantage of the Allies. Yeah, that's a very good draw for that. And now we'll just dig a little deeper into the issue. So this uh, issue with uh, Russia and Ukraine, <coughs> is this going to cause... What can the cards tell us? I su suspect that it may cause a lot of uncomfortable situations for the Allies. We have to remember that if, of course, Russia can um, restrict the fuel that's going through the Ukraine to Europe, but in doing so, he's only going to ruffle the feather of, of the Allies of Ukraine and the United States. So that doesn't seem like a winning hand. We'll take six cards to begin with. <coughs> Excuse my cough. I, always, I, st I don't talk a lot except when I do these readings. And then, of course, I've forgotten to to bring some water with me. So we'll just see if I can get through this. As a matter of fact, I have a gum right here. I'll chew on this gum. Hope it's not too noisy. I'm sure it will be. Sorry. It's better than coughing. So diet across. On how is this going to play out with Putin, Ukraine, the Allies, the United States. Signifier card for that. Page of Swords. Putin is the page. He's the weakest of the cards. He's running with the truth, justice, rules, and law, and this is a dangerous way for him to behave. The uh, challenge to that is the Queen of Wands. Look at this. Mom's, she's got the broom. She's the queen of what's going on here, and she's scolding this fella, saying, what do you think you're doing? Stop. That sounds right to me. The base of this reading, then, is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands, oh, I always forget. Let me look that up, because I don't want to say the wrong thing here. Six of Wands. Okay. Oh, yeah. So the Six of Wands is victory. So these folks are, are looking in the window at all these wands, all these actions, all these plans, in amazement at how the situation is getting cleaned up. So for me, these are the allies looking in the window and saying, okay, yeah, everything's getting cleaned up the way it should be. They're in amazement. They're in happy amazement about what's going on here. This is victory. And this is victory for the good guys, not the bad guys. And the pastor of this reading is a fool. And that's what he's been. Putin has just been a fool off on this journey without take, uh, considering everything that he should take with him. The sky of this reading is the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is, um, you know, cups are emotion or passion or compassion. And this one is distressed. A lot of these drinks are spilled. A couple of these martinis are still up. So there's something left to go on with. So it looks like to me like Russia has spilled some of their value, some of their compassion, they've spent a good deal of the emotion that goes along with this issue, and they still have just a little bit left to carry on with. And then the final outcome for this, with the Two of Pentacles, just like Biden, is there's going to be a balance found here that makes all this work out. So that's beautiful. Page of uh, Swords is uh, Russia uh, running with scissors. Queen of Wands is the United States and the Allies saying, what are you doing? Slow down. You're not going to do this in this house. 
the base of this is the Six of Wands. These are the allies looking in and how things are getting all cleaned up in some amazement. The past to this reading is the Fool. This is uh, Russia off on this ridiculous journey. The sky of this reading is the Five of Cups. This is Russia crying over spilt milk. And then the final outcome of this is the Two of Pentacles finding just that perfect balance, which is what Biden is so good at. So I love this reading for, um, for this question. So what did you think? Does that seem to make sense to you with what's going on in the world and, and the way the cards look? And I love using the deck anyway. So it seemed like an appropriate uh, set of cards to use for this issue. And I hope you felt so too. Let me know in the comments. Tell me what, what you're thinking. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go. So stop on by. Ciao for now.